Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be talking about the new contest that is coming through ClassicPirates.com on the Eurobricks forum. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video, any of the videos on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's talk about this contest that is coming up here on Classic Pirates after the intro coming in here now. checked out classic pirates you know you definitely should uh they have all the news when it comes to all things lego pirates obviously and they're getting ready to start their new uh building event our next their next contest it's time to start thinking our next building event how can we make it phenomenal so we are planning our next big Lego pri pirate contest with glorious prizes. So we'd like to know what kind of theme would you would would you inspire to enter? I obviously pirates be the Lego theme, but what kind of inspira inspiration would would you like behind your build? The return of classic pirates contest focuses upon remaking classic style Lego pirate sets and dreaming up new ones. So now we're looking for a new direction for the next contest. What should it be? And the poll choices are like a Monkey Island madness because this was a, a, a you know a popular like pirate game. I I, I want to say I played this once upon a time. In all honesty, um, if not very something very similar. I remember running around with a guy like that. <laughs> um, and then uh, you can do distant waters. Want to sail beyond the beyond the waters of the usual Caribbean setting. So here is you know looking outside of the Caribbean setting to build some kind of piratey type uh, scene. So you know open it up to you know different areas of the world. So that's interesting. Pirates of pop culture, your favorite, uh, you know, pirates from like films and whatnot. Jake and the Neverland Pirates, there. Oh, <laughs> somebody would like that. Yeah. And then, last but certainly not least, and this would get my vote. For many a year, this minifigure was simply known as the merchant who came sailing into the Imperial Trading Post on board the Cutter and then later mysteriously appeared among Captain Redbeard's crew on the Skull Eye Schooner without explanation. While the Lego group has recently acknowledged the name Steve, they never officially named the minifigure in catalogs, box, box stories, tie-in media, so we know nothing of his backstory. Let's change that. Where does Steve come from? And are the are there more merchants who use the same insignia on their flags and sails? Do these merchants also have ships, larger ships than Steve? How did Steve find himself on board the Skull A schooner? And why has his cutter been commandeered by soldiers of the newly renovated El Dorado Fortress? Build a mock expanding upon Steve's backstory present and future including steve the minifigure will not be mandatory nor will including the cutter ship steve can de be depicted at any age wearing any clothes or any ship or location maybe when when he's older has a gray beard or no beard at all you decide and then if you also have an, another idea let them know they said and they'll consider adding it to the poll that's fun but uh, yeah, the stuff with Steve, he's he's uh, he's an infamous he's an infamous minifigure in Lego Pirates lore. Um, I actually have two Steves, um, and both of which are from my youth because I had uh, the Imperial Trading Post and the Skull Eye Schooner. They both came with them. Yeah, so but only one of them must have been from my child. Now that I think about, because I rebought um, the Imperial Trading Post. Um, as an adult um but we have yeah we have two steves and his red on his face is a little bit different and it's it, you know so it's it's the head and the torso that really makes steve steve but uh 
Yeah, you're you're not a Lego Pirates aficionado if you don't know who Steve is. No, but I will be voting for Steve. <laughs> but right now, the Distant Waters is winning on the poll for the next contest. Yeah. So here, you, all you got to do is go over to Eurobricks and sign up, and you can start posting and voting and all that good stuff over there. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.